Active Plan is an interactive spatial model that's driven from an asset database in the cloud. Spaces that were defined in BIM and CAD plans appear as interactive objects that know what they are and how they relate to other spaces. Assets are also intelligent or smart and we can select a space and see which smoke alarms are protecting it. The assets are connected to a product library that can automatically validate supplier's data against what information was required. This one needs its serial number. We've got the manufacturer's information, model number and warranty details along with the space it's in. Many people need to access this from mobiles, so ActivePlan presents a very simple key plan that shows the assets and the space in the context of a whole floor. Even the key plan's smart, and a single click takes us to the main layout where we can drill into a space and see all of the other information that's been collected. This can include 360 photos, which can be made smart by connecting them to the asset data for that space. The panel on the right displays the asset list from the construction team and the FM can check them off by dropping a pin on the photo which automatically creates a schedule of verified assets. They can see the product specification in Uniclass code and the assets connected to the product library where the manufacturer can maintain it. In this case the validation against the information requirement shows that 100% of the information for this work stage was delivered. The FM team now wants to create their own active plan of the assets, so we select the door sets and they're displayed on the spatial model. Again, we can see the specification without having to refer to other schedules and the location of each is highlighted on the plan as we run down the list. The FM can use the active plan to select individual spaces and group them together to create functional zones, fire corridors, areas that might be affected if a specific system fails, or anything else they can think of. That grouping doesn't change the underlying data in any way, but can report useful information like the number of spaces it includes and its net area. The FM can also create their groupings for assets. In this case, they want to see where all the 30 minute fire doors are on a plan. One click and there they are. The FM is no longer reliant on the way the construction team has structured their models and schedules. They can create their own filters and see the asset data in ways that help them keep people safe and keep the lights on. I guess the next question is, what would you like to see displayed on your active plan?